Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and today I will be bringing you guys all the news we got from this morning's practice with the New York Jets on August 15th. Brees Hall is officially activated off the pup list. We'll break that down. Dalvin Cook is officially a New York Jet. We have some injury news to talk about. Elijah Vera Tucker did not play in the Panthers game, and he did not practice this morning. We'll get into what Robert Sala had to say about the Elijah Vera Tucker update and what happened in today's practice. It was a little messy day for the offense and we'll be breaking that all down. Now, before we hop into the video, I do want to mention, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are growing rapidly. And if you guys can help me out to get to the new goal of 19,000 subscribers, that would mean a lot to me, guys. And if you can also hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy the content. More importantly, comment your thoughts down below of this morning's practice. Let's get straight into business. So first, I just want to quickly highlight Brees Hall returning off the pup list because that is definitely great news. We were live on the channel for an hour celebrating it, but I definitely had to start off off this video talking about it because that's definitely the biggest talking point of today for these New York Jets. The fact that he's already activated tells you that he is ready to go for week number one. Robert Sala said that the signing of Dalvin Cook has no impact on the timeline for Brees Hall returning for the New York Jets and I think that now that he's back on the practice field doing limited reps, it's only a matter of time till he's back out there doing team drills and Brees Hall, man, and Dalvin Cook that is definitely the best one-two punch in the entire NFL at that running back spot and a lot of Jets fans are asking the question what about Michael Carter Bam Knight and Izzy Benikenda well I personally think Michael Carter is not going anywhere Robert Sala called up Michael Carter and told him right before the Jets officially signed Dalvin Cook and Carter actually said he talked to the media today about that he said the coach did not have to do that Sala wanted to be transparent with the running back room he approached the running backs and told them we're bringing in Dalvin Cook. This is our plan. He wants to be transparent. That's a great coach from Robert Sala because you do not want the Jets to make moves and not be transparent with your players, and there could be an outrage within the, or within the locker room. So really good stuff there. I personally think, and I could be wrong, but I think that Bam Knight might be the odd man out, but there's still two preseason games to go and a lot of weeks of training camp for these running backs to really separate themselves because the reality is the Jets cannot keep five running backs. They're most likely going to keep four. So... That's what's the case with that. Let's get into some injury news. Elijah Vera Tucker. So this is interesting. Uh, AVT was down on Saturday. And I was wondering why the press never asked the Robert Sala after the game why he was down. Because that's how he worded it. Uh, but the reason is he's dealing with an ankle injury. And apparently, according to Sala, he's been dealing with this ankle injury for quite a while, and he's been pushing through it and practicing through it. And the Jets want to take him off his feet and give him time to fix his ailment and kind of make sure that, you know, it doesn't linger and give him some rest to heal up that ankle. So I don't know what exactly it is. I don't know if it's a sprain. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's an ankle injury for Elijah Vera Tucker. He's considered day to day, which is definitely a positive sign. It's not like he's going to be sidelined for weeks and weeks and months and months. So that's definitely something to keep in mind because of Without AVT, the offensive line is not nearly as good as it could be because Elijah Vera Tucker, as we all know, is undoubtedly the best offensive lineman for these New York Jets. So the player that was replacing AVT on the offensive line was Wes Schweitzer at right guard. We also have some interesting news to talk about with the offensive line and how it all sorted out today. So let's get straight into that. Joe Tittman, the rookie center, was taking snaps with Aaron Rodgers in the first team offense for the first time in training camp. Throughout the entire training camp since it started in uh, late July, Joe Tittman has been running with the third team. The second team never took a snap with Aaron Rodgers. Today was the first day of just that. And that's a really good sign for the rookie because he has proven to this coaching staff that he is ready to go, man. In back-to-back -back preseason games, he got all the snaps at center and he looked fantastic. Moving people in the run game, protecting in the pass game. And Robert Sala has said that he has, quote, elite strain and his physicality, his athleticism is not what they're worried about. What With Joe Tipman, when you're a rookie, there's a lot of nuances to the uh, center position at the next level of communication, understanding tendencies, the fundamentals of the scheme that they're running here. So that's why the Jets wanted to bring in Joe Tipman out there at center. Something else to keep in mind that they did today, Joe Tipman played right guard with the third team. So I think the Jets are trying to get Joe Tipman that versatility, you know, his uh, getting comfortable playing multiple positions because they drafted him. They, uh, Joe Douglas raved about his versatility, that it can line up as a center, line up on, it, on the inside at the, one of the guard spots. So that's definitely something interesting to see. Uh, but Joe Tittman's not going to be the starting center from here on out at training camp. Connor McGovern will be taking his role as the starting center next practice against the Buccaneers tomorrow that I'll be actually be in attendance for. So the Jets feel like they're just rotating at the center spot 
between Joe Timmon and Connor McGovern. But this is a really good sign for Joe Timmon to continue to rise up the depth chart and maybe steal that starting job heading into week number one. Because I think Jets fans, we can all agree, we want Joe Timmon as that starting center. He provides the biggest upside at that spot. He just needs to prove to the coaching staff that he can handle being a starting center as a rookie in this win now season with a veteran in Aaron Rodgers under center. Some other things about this offensive line today, Max Mitchell, uh, he went down with an injury, but he returned to practice. So that is all good. Apparently it was a back problem, but he returned and he was playing left tackle afterwards and was in on special teams. So nothing to worry about with Mitchell's injury. Uh, Makai Becton is continuously playing with the backups, that backup left tackle spot. And the offensive line was a mess today, man. Apparently the offense struggled big time. Rodgers was all over the place. Rodgers actually got hit and fell to the ground. And there were some reporters saying that he was hurt. And I'm like, Oh my God. I mean, one reporter's not even talking about it. One reporter's talking about it. And then Rodgers is fine. And that's my biggest issue with following practice of not being there is sitting back on Twitter and watching the beat reporters talk about what's going on in practice. And I don't even know what's happening. So Rodgers is fine, but definitely a really short little scare that the beat reporters had to do for us. I was getting a little frustrated. But the reality is, folks, the offensive line is struggling, and they don't know they're starting five yet. And Robert Sala spoke to the media and talked about it. They don't know who is going to be their two starting tackles. They don't know who's going to be their starting center. And without ABT, things are moving all over the place. And with Max Mitchell leaving practice for a couple of snaps, with ABT not out there, with Dwayne Brown not out there still, there's a lot of moving parts, and it's definitely a, a reasonable concern for this Jets fan base to be in. But the reality is... You can't expect this Jets team to go out there and make a move for an offensive lineman. There's not an offensive lineman that's in available in free agency that's going to be able to come in here and start and better than anybody on the roster already. And there's also not an offensive lineman that any team uh, outside the Jets organization is willing to just trade away. It's just not realistic. For the people saying, go get offensive line help, I hear you, but it's a lot easier said than done. There's just not offensive linemen just willing to be traded away from organizations. That's just not reality. Uh, so that's something the Jets got to figure out internally. Get this offensive line healthy. Get that starting five and let them get that chemistry together. So that's really the overall you know, thought of what I saw on Twitter this morning is the offense was struggling. And the big reason was because of the offensive line. And another thing I have to bring up is... Maybe a big reason why this offensive line is struggling just so happens to be how freaking dominant our defensive line is. Have we ever thought about that? Because the Jets offensive line is not going to be going up against a Jets defensive line on game days. I think the Jets D line, we all know, is way better than the offensive line. That's not groundbreaking news. So maybe the defensive line is just going to keep dominating on, on the offensive line of practice, and that's going to make the offensive line that much better, hopefully, by game day. And the D line, Jermaine Johnson was getting to the quarterback with sacks, Quinton Williams. I mean, at this point, we know what the defensive line is going to do and that's not really anything crazy to hear about of the rd line beating up our own our own offensive line now let's get into the quarterbacks uh, aaron Rodgers had a down day he's a little frustrated through an interception to Jordan Whitehead. I think that was the play where he got pressured up the middle and just like threw the ball up and it fell to the ground and then got picked off by Whitehead. Rodgers finished 9 of 20, but he bounced back at the end of practice with a good red zone touchdown to Garrett Wilson. And then he followed it up with a two-point conversion to Garrett Wilson. That is beautiful to hear because Garrett Wilson's finally back at practice, officially running the team drills. Last time he was at practice, it was individual stuff. So Garrett Wilson is a full go. Very positive sign to see Garrett Wilson out there after that two-week injury with his ankle uh, so overall sloppy sloppy stuff from the offense there are still some drops still things this offense got to figure out but on the flip side the positive news of the offense was Zach Wilson he had a great day today apparently he had one of the better throws of training camp of Zach Wilson to Bam Knight placed in between two defenders down the seam don't have a clip of it but that was per Connor Hughes so that's cool to hear that Zach Wilson continues to thrive and continues to progress after that promising outing against the Carolina Panthers and then he also followed up that uh, pass to Bam Knight to a touchdown to Irv Charles on that very next play. So overall, great day from Zach Wilson. Starting offense struggled because of the offensive line, and uh, and uh, Aaron Rodgers had a down day. Uh, but hey, they got a big time test tomorrow against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the joint practice. That's going to be fun to see in person. So I'll be giving you guys all the latest updates on the joint practice tomorrow here on my YouTube channel and on Twitter and on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, make sure you guys do so. So overall, man, the biggest takeaways from this morning's practice: Brees Hall is returning. Let's freaking go! Dalvin Cook's a jet. And Aaron Rodgers in the offensive line was struggling today, and the defense was getting the better of them. Zach Wilson is looking great, and Garrett Wilson's officially back as well. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Let's go Jets.